Hello everyone. So I'm about to start making dinner, and after dinner I figured we would make some snow ice cream since it snowed quite a bit. This is what it looks like outside right now. There's probably close to a total of 10 inches. Um, you can see that better down there. On there, not so much. But it snowed quite a bit. So I think that'd be a fun treat. So for dinner, I'm going to make some salmon and broccoli. I've got everything set up here. Here's the broccoli that I'm going to use. I'm going to roast it in the oven. There's the pan. I always cover it with a little bit of foil. It makes it easier to clean after. This is the salmon. It's just a frozen filet of salmon. I'm going to cut that in a little bit of coconut oil with some garlic salt and lemon pepper. I'm going to preheat the oven to 375. And this is Carson. Say hi. Hi. He, wants, he likes to sit, stand on his stool and watch. And... So that's the... Uh, hey! Do not touch the knife! <clears throat> Looking for my lemon juice. There it is. Lemon juice. Lemon juice? A little bit of that on the broccoli. So... A little bit of vegetable oil to go on the broccoli. For the salmon, though... I am going to use coconut oil. Carson thinks he's helping. I want to hold that salt. It's not salt. What is it? I'm going to turn the stove on to medium. Spoonful. So it's kind of big. Just take a spoonful of the coconut oil. Okay, in the pan. Don't need a whole lot. And it melts fairly quickly. And you know what? It does not taste like coconut oil at all either, Joan. So here's the broccoli. Just pour some out. I help. I help. I help them. <coughs> I help them, the big one. I'm going to break some of the pieces up because some of them are pretty big, like that one. That's huge. Uh. And that can also be done after cooking. Like, that one's huge. So... So yeah, I'm just kind of breaking some of them apart. I'm going to camera. I will watch you, camera. I can camera. Camera. Okay, so there's that. Then you can the vegetable oil, and it's just going to be drizzled. I help, mommy. Help, Carson. I got it. Like that, mommy. Grandma. And then. Take the lemon juice, just a little bit, put some lemon juice in here as well. I'll 
that. So, that's that with the coconut oil and the lemon juice. Then we're going to take the salmon. It's got these little tears on the side. So we just kind of tear it open. Sometimes it doesn't work. So, there we go. Now it's just going to slide right into the pan. Oh boy. And then I just use garlic salt and lemon pepper and a little bit of soy sauce as well. And this I just cooked from frozen. Nothing too special there. <clears throat> and then here's the lemon pepper. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit because it is frozen. And then, yeah, flip it over and season the other side. These prongs are awesome. I like them a lot. And then again, just a little bit of garlic salt. A little lemon pepper. Then we season the broccoli. Lemon pepper. Garlic salt. And then this goes in the oven. It just takes a few minutes and it's already preheated. So we're just going to slide this right in and close it up. Even though the salmon Mommy. was frozen, it still only takes a few minutes as well. So this is a fairly quick and easy dinner. hard to flip it sometimes though. Okay, I'm going to grab the lid. That pan doesn't have its own lid, so I'm just going to grab any old lid that's bigger. kind of helps trap the heat in there so it cooks evenly. You can already see that it's fogging up, which is good. try and clean up as I cook here. Just less to do at the end. So, I'm going to clean up a little bit and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I cleaned up a little bit and this has been cooking for a few minutes, just on the one side still. Fully flipped it once. I'm going to take the lid off. And go ahead and flip it again. I don't want to burn one side. And turn it up just a little bit more. I'm going to put the lid back on. Carson's helping, and behind him is Zeke, my roommate's son, two months younger. Broccoli's looking good. Oh, I fogged up the camera. So, I'm going to let this cook, and I'll show you the finished product when I'm done.
Okay, as you see, I have it just kind of cut up and um, put on the plate. It is now time to go ahead and take out the broccoli. I'm going to use an oven mitt. Safety first. Oh, that looks delicious. Mm. See, it really does not take that long at all. That was in there for, oh, I don't know, maybe five minutes. And I'm just going to get a spoon and just kind of stir it all up. Make sure it's all evenly coated with seasoning and yumminess. We're going to go ahead and turn the oven off and just serve this up. And then it's going to be time to eat. A couple pieces to each of the boys. You give more to one than the other because the one does not like to eat. And I love broccoli, so. Myself a little bit extra. And I'm going to give each of the boys a little cutie. They're just little mini oranges. They're real cute. Easy to peel. So, that is how I make our salmon and broccoli dinner. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy.